Hey, what's up, everybody? Ryan McDonald here, and I am standing by with Mark Devalin, who is executive producer at Fast Shark. How are you doing, sir? Hey, I'm fine. Pleasure to be here. It's, uh, thanks for coming all this way. You're straight out of Sweden, right? Yeah, Stockholm. Excellent. Now, uh, long trip, but you have made it worthwhile by bringing along some information and new stuff on War of the Roses. You That's want to true. tell the folks at home what it's all about? Yeah, it's uh, basically a multiplayer game. Uh, we have a single player campaign, but the multiplayer focus, it's uh, a competitive uh, multiplayer game uh, in the medieval England. Um, you can play as a light squire or you can play as a full knight. Uh, it's, uh, focused about, it's all about team-based combat and you, you want to, women want to make an accessible game in the style of the, sh the modern shooters, but in a medieval setting. I basically. got you. So, so, so for, for those of us that are stuck on playing Call of Duty, this is one to look at because it's kind of a similar setup to what we're used to, except medieval times. Exactly. Right? I, that's that's the point. That's the, that's correct analysis. Analysis because we were also we, we I think there was some some article on the web that said like why is, why aren't anybody doing this in the medieval setting? And we were like we had just started and we felt like yeah this is this is the right thing thing to do. And I mean it's it's great fun. It's 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 the really it's a challenge to do the melee side part of it, but it's it's great fun. Now for me, you know, it's like you know, looking at some of the screenshots that we're seeing right now. Obviously, you know, it brings back fond memories of Defender of the Crown and some of the fun stuff that we played over the years that kind of touch on this this era. Now, are we are we so we got some sword singing, we got some you know bows and arrows and horses yeah, and all kinds yeah. of stuff. I mean, we want to bring all the, the kind of things that were in that era, and it's it's good. We have the word roses. It's actually a certain amount of years that's that's, that's to play with, and we we can look at what, what we're actually in the time period. So we have like. Um, we have also have a bit of it's, it's a f really early in terms of using uh, gunpowder weapon as well. So we will have a little bit of element of that. They're really non, non like precise, but um, could be fun to play with as an as an alternative. But now, now you guys are super. You guys are talking to us early about this one. Yeah. Because you you want people to know about it and yeah. uh, and put in some information on it. Is that, yeah. is that right? Yes, that's true. That's true. I mean, and uh, it's also it's a great uh, it's a great. I mean. We want to build the community, and we want to listen to the community as well as this game. But we, the the main thing here with the, with the World of Roses is to to make a great multiplayer experience. Yeah. Now, one of the things uh, I want you to talk about before you get out of here, Mark, is like the whole persistence. It's not just jumping in and getting your match in and out. You've got a whole system built up, correct? That's correct. Uh, we want to have a more persistence thing, so you unlock stuff, you unlock in you maybe skills, or you unlock skins, and so you can you can vary the way you look with the character. As it's a multi multiplayer competitive game, you we don't want to, to mess too much with like stats and stuff like. That so it's more of a, a visual thing, uh, but also some new features. More like we want to broaden the experience. So you can you can pick. I mean, if you have leveled up your character, you can pick from more and more vari variety, of, broader variety of weapons and, and, and armors, of course. Excellent. So folks can look for more on it in early 2012. Yeah, exactly. Think? We will we will try to be upcoming with updates all the time now. From now on, we'll see more of the game next year. Excellent. Awesome, Mark. Thank you so much for coming by and showing us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.